celebrate the feast of St. Cyril and St. Methodius. And they ministered to the Slavic people. We pray we will have, we will be animated by their intercession as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us go to Jesus in the silence of our hearts to seek mercy and pardon for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us all pray. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers St. Cyril and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A letter from St. James. From James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind for the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up and the rich in being brought low because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field. Its flower falls and its beauty perishes. It is the same way with the rich in the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be kind to me. Keep your word. You are 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees came to Jesus and began to argue with him, asking him for a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly I tell you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, he went across to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, James. James has a practical way of understanding Jesus' teaching. He is the one who said, Faith without works is dead. Now he's into wisdom. He says to prevent doubts. Doubts that allow us, allow us to vas vacillate from one point to the other. Two minds. Pray for God's wisdom. Ask God for his wisdom. And God through Jesus will inspire us. So that we will know exactly how, when, where and why. The gift of discernment. He's talking about indirectly. So we come to the gospel and Jesus encounters those who have no faith. But they only believe in rationality. They want a sign. Give us a sign, Jesus, and we'll believe in you. Give us a sign and our mind will see two and two or four logically and we will believe. And we can sense the frustration in Jesus because they only want signs, signs. They do not believe he is truly the son of God. And we thank Jesus for allowing us to recognize that he is the Son of God. Even if Jesus does no miracles, we know he is in faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look upon the offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Cyril and Methodius and grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity reconciled to you in loving charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Cyril and St. Methodius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of, his holy, of their holy life. Teach her by their words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, Plenis Uncelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, we venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death 
and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, Christian, our bishop, and his auxiliary, Ali, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, especially St. Gadari de Gaguita, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Let us offer each other the sign of peace, peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us all pray. O God, Father of all nations, who make us share us in the one bread and the one spirit and heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this feast day of Saint Cyril and Methodius, that the multitude of your children, persevering in the same faith, may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve our God. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed and a happy day, everyone.